once we understand the demographic breakdown of our total population, here we can start talking about the labor force participation rate. Uh, this rate is probably not as famous as the unemployment rate, but it's actually a very important indicator of our labor market. Uh, when we look at the short run fluctuations of the economy, we find unemployment rate is more informative because it goes ups and downs all the time, telling us what is going on out there on the job market. But when we look at the long term, uh, the labor force participation rate is quite important. Okay? It tells, tells us a lot of uh, interesting things or changes we already made um, like decade by decade. All right. Now here, let's get it, get this rate defined in the first place. Uh, the participation rate is the percentage of the working age population who are the members of the labor force. Mathematically, this is very straightforward. It means uh, the labor force here divided by the working age population multiplied by 100 or 100 percent okay to get the percentage point now um, here I give you a very quick example a numerical example uh, you can figure out you know what is the labor force participation rate okay now on this pie chart you can find a number of employed unemployed not in the labor force but they're still in the working age population okay and uh, um, so you can just you know plug in the numbers and uh, um, compute the labor force participation rate now I would suggest you to pause the video here and get a scratch paper and trying to do the math on your own all right, here, let's check out how uh, we're going to figure out the uh, labor force participation rate for this case. Now, um, the numerator, we said it's going to be the labor force, right? But the pie chart does not directly uh, tell us what the labor force is. But remember, labor force consists of two things, number of employed, and number of unemployed. We know both of them here from the pie chart, right? Number of employed here is 145 million, right? Number of unemployed here is 10.1 million. So if we add them up, we're gonna get 155.1 million. That is the size of the labor force, okay? And then we divide it by the working age population. Okay, the working age population here. Oops, uh, you can add uh, all three components together, and uh, you're gonna get 234.6 million. Okay, again, you do um, you you add 145. Uh, in 10.1 million unemployed and 79.6 million not in the labor force. If you add the, all of them up, you're gonna get this uh, size of the working age population, okay? And times uh, 100%, okay? And um, you're gonna get your answer here, okay? So I'm gonna leave this for you guys to figure out, all right? It should be quite easy to do that. Uh, the next thing we want to check out is the historical trend uh, in the labor force participation. Okay, now um, this is uh, the Fred chart. Um, what we see here on this chart, um, you can find three participation rates. Okay, and what's in the middle, the blue one is. Uh, the participation rate okay or you can see the overall participation rate here we said it's a civilian that means it does not include any military related okay um, uh, labor force so civilian labor force participation rate that's the blue one in the middle 
Uh, the top one here, the red or maroon one, is a civilian labor force rate for men. In other words, this is a male rate. Okay, and the green one here is a female rate. Okay, um, so here you can find the gender um, breakdown. Okay, of the participation rate. Now, here I want to ask you, how would you like to? Uh, summarize the historical trends of these uh, three different participation rates. How would you like to summarize the trends of these three uh, participation rates? Participation rates. Okay. Uh, once again, I would uh, strongly suggest you to pause the video and think about it. All right, now here, uh, to be able to talk about the trends, um, let's just you know cut the whole chart uh, into two parts. Okay, uh, on our left hand side, um, all the years from uh, post World War II to uh, 1990s. Okay, so. Uh, that's the first part. The second part is from the year 2000 all the way to uh, the recent years. Okay? The reason we're uh, um, doing that is because, as you can see, you know, uh, in the first part, um, the three participation rates are moving uh, towards uh, uh, different directions, okay, most of the time. But uh, after the year 2000, we find they are moving uh, shoulder by shoulder, okay. So, um, if we look at the, uh, if we start with the female rate, okay, the green one here, you would find that, you know, the female participation rate increased a lot from post-World War II all the way to late 1990s, okay. Um, in, 19, in late 1940s, this rate was about, um, it's no 30s, right probably 30 to 33%. Okay? And um, in late 1990s, the rate already reached to 60%. Okay? So that's a huge increase uh, in the female participation rate. Uh, during the same period of time, we find the male participation rate actually decreased okay, from the high 80, high 80s all the way to uh, mid 70s okay and because of these two uh, uh, the the different trends of the male and the female rates so the overall rates we find that you know it increased but not as much as the female rate okay so um, in late 1940s this uh, the overall participation rate um, is very close to 60 percent. Okay. And it start uh, increasing over time, and in 1990s it becomes high 60s, okay. probably 66 or 67 percent. All right. So um, these are the um, uh, the trends before uh, the year 2000. Uh, now in the uh, past two decades, okay. So from the year 2000 to 2020, we find that these uh, three are moving in, in that, the same direction. Okay, they are actually, especially if you look at after 2010, you would find that all three rates are heading down. Okay, so uh, the male rate, female rate, and overall rate, they all decreased uh, after uh, 2010. Okay, now here. I want to leave um, you guys uh, another assignment. Uh, just think about what could be the factors behind this chart or behind the trends of these three uh, participation rates. Okay. Again, you may start with the increase in female rate, and then uh, think about you know what caused. Uh, what causes this decline in male rate and eventually look at more recent years what caused the decrease in the male and female rate. Okay.
Okay, during our、uh, virtual meeting online, we're gonna talk about this. You would find that, as we said before, the labor force participation rate in the long term could be very informative. Okay, try your best to come up with as many factors as possible. What exactly happened during that historical period、um, in the United States?